So we look at the animals, and we hear the animals of the nativity scene. But what would take place? What would happen when we arrived if we were the shepherds to the nativity scene? What kind of animals would be around that area? What can we imagine during that time? We'd have a list in the scripture of all the animals that were there. Was there a duck quacking? Was there a goose flying? I don't know. <laughs> that can think of many animals <clears throat> that point to Jesus, and the ox is a reminder of what God has done for us. So an ox is there, and it is a reminder of the burdens. It says in Psalm 34, 38:4, For my iniquities have gone over my head as a heavy burden. They weigh too much for me. They weigh too much for me. Have you ever went to a park and got a pebble stuck in your shoe? When you were, when you were younger, went to the playground, got a pebble stuck in your shoe, and it just hurt. You said, wait, let me take this shoe off. Let me remove the pebble. <laughs> That's what sin does for us. That sin, it condemns us. It's there. It holds us back from walking. It could be just one small sin, but it can just bother us. It can irritate us. We think, man, did they get my order wrong because of my sin? Did, uh, was it some, is God punishing me? And we look up to heaven and cry, Lord. <laughs> we get the wrong gift for Christmas. Lord, is it? Are you punishing me? <laughs> we get socks for Christmas. We say, Lord, I, well, are you mad? Are you upset? The psalmist says, For my iniquities have gone over my head, a heavy burden, they weigh too much on me. Are they physical? No, it's, it's that mental stress that we allow ourselves to be under, to be held under. And we have to say, Lord, you are the strong one. You are the one who is that ox who is able to carry the load and be strong. Because Jesus says in Matthew eleven thirty, My yoke is easy. My burden is light. Under the Old Covenant, it was you and yourself. You had to carry the load of all the righteousness, and you had to carry and plow the field and earn your salvation, earn your love, and earn that righteousness towards God. How come we don't see that many descriptions of heaven and hell when we get under the Old Testament? Was well, because it was waiting for a particular time so that when Jesus arrived, there was that description of what that is. So that's why when Jesus gets there, he talks about what heaven is. But there are many mansions in heaven. I have a house prepared for you. It's because if they had heard all of that detail under the old covenant, they would just said, oh man, I can't do it. Because it was all about the moral laws that they had to keep. But Jesus arrives into the scene and he says, my burden is easy. My yoke is light. The idea of carrying something is a reminder that we have to give what we have to Jesus. We have to say, I can't carry it. I can't plow the fields that way. <laughs> I can't hold on to it. It was actually John Osteen, the father of Joel Osteen. He said that he had a vision where God was showing him what the yoke, he had the, the message of the yoke, in his mind, and John Osteen actually said that he had this vision of him being under a yoke like what an ox would be under, and he had this vision of it just being lifted, and he, he was going, man, Lord, why, why is this yoke being lifted? And it was, it was God showing him it's being lifted because I'm carrying it. And we, don't, we don't plow the fields with, with ourselves, but it's Jesus Christ. He did the work for us. He does the work for us. And so even today, we have physical things that we go under. We, we still have a job. We still do physical things here and there. But guess what? You got someone else next to you on that yoke. Plow. You're not plowing the fields on your own. You're not going to work on your own. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit goes with you every single day. Yes. And the life of a Christian is not burdensome. It's, it's not difficult compared to being without Christ. You can do it on your own. You can plow the fields on your own. You can shrink, but you're going to be on your own. It's going to be on your merit, how much you can pull, how much you can accomplish. But when you have Jesus, you got someone else plowing the field with you. You got someone else bringing along that produce and helping you. Isn't that good? Yeah. Right, let, me plow, let me go with Jesus. <laughs> let him carry some of my burdens. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Lord.